Hi right, guys, <coughs> another video. Um, found out something uh, interesting. Uh, if you take this model here, when you look on the normal preview, like this, uh, you will see that it looks perfectly fine. Everything looks like it would be sliced okay, like this. This here. It, uh, it looks like it should slice okay. Now, the thing is with this model is that the distance here is kind of small. If I bring this into where model it in Fusion 360, you will see that the distance here is only 0 0.262 millimeters. And uh, <coughs> uh, these are like separate sections. Uh, getting printed, as you can see here, if I close this. This is one section, this is one section, and yeah. So, um, when you slice this, uh, you get a problem with, with the slicing. Uh, I'll, I'll actually show you in a different view. Let me open another... Let me see, I can just open another plate here. And I can try and bring it in. And it would probably be one of so brim two. Let me see. I'll try and bring in a few of them. Okay. No. That was the wrong way to do it. I'll do the bottom first, and I'll add part load brim, brim, brim. yeah okay so let's see I will change the color of those so it's easier to see so these are black and uh, Uh, let's see, I'll change that one to red, just so you can actually see the difference. Which one is this? Uh, red, okay. So it will be yellow, black, yellow, black. So I'll remove that one. That should be yellow. Okay, so you can actually see here, when I slice this, like this, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to change the color of those, it's creating some havocs. Uh, let's just set it to white, generic PVA just for shows. If I now slice this, those actually looked okay. Let me see. I'll try and remove those and just go back to the main one. So if I slice this again, you will see it's the ah, oh, it's the yellow one. Okay, so I'll I'll just do that again. Uh, sorry for the delay, guys. Just want to show you. Uh, there and let's import. I think it's number four. Let's try that and see. So if I slice this... Okay, so I need to just create a raft so you can see it. Support raft 1, okay. Slice. Now you can actually see what happens here when it 
tries to render it. Look at this. Now the nozzle I'm using is a 0.2 millimeter nozzle because I'm going to print details. But this is what happens. This is how the model looks like and there is no change in, in, in width or anything. But when you have these problems it can also affect other parts. Like for another model it happened over here in the middle. Let's try and load in another one. And see. Uh, I'm gonna move that to the side. Let's do the five. This is the fifth. Slice plate. That one looks okay. And let's try the six instead. Not that one. Uh, tube rim. I think it's this one. Slice plate. Now you can see that the same thing happens here on the underside. But there's nothing on the back side. And it's exactly the same width. So how do you fix it when you get these uh, weird uh, weird uh, problems? So I'll delete that and I'll show you inside the other one here. Because if you can look on the slice of this one, this has all the parts inside. And I will turn off this equality no ironing. Now you can see that there is actually a problem here, but it's not a big one. You can see there is a small part missing there. It's not a fill in fill gap. You can also see it very clearly here now. On the back. There are literally a lot of points missing in between here and on the back here. And in the middle here. So yeah, originally I actually thought this had to do with the... Um, like in Fusion 360. If I... Uh, I'm going to show you. I used uh, cutouts like these, like these, to. See, I just need to hide the other ones. Uh, there. Okay, so you can see then I, I used uh, faces like this to cut the object around the body is like, like this. That's not the one. You see here is flush to the main object. And uh, I originally thought it had something to do with the way these lines are n maybe not 100% matching up, but I was able to join all the faces and, uh, and make it, so it into one object. So I didn't think that was the problem. So, but I tried to do a change here in the model, uh, but it just moved the problem to a different part of the object. And then the next thing I did was to go into the slicer, and I was wondering how can I fix this because it's it's not. I don't want to use. Uh, let me see. I, I want to remove the brim here. Don't want to use brims. Brims for losers. Oh, not brims, uh, rafts. Rafts are for losers. Never use raft. Ever, ever, ever. There. Um, I was wondering, how can I fix this? And I was thinking, uh, I heard something once about uh, 0 0.2 nozzles, or any nozzle could actually print less wider than was normal and this is 0.2 nozzle so in theory the, the max that comes out is 0.2 millimeters 
and then I was looking at the quality segments here and even for 0 0.4 it always overshoots and that is to create layer adhesion problem is when you're printing details uh, then uh, the, the layers will basically be too wide and they run into each other so the reason you see it's empty or black or something like that is basically because it's bleeding into the other one so what I did was I tested all of these settings and when I came to outer wall I set that to 0 0.2 and then I sliced it and suddenly the problem is gone and I'm not sure but uh, let's try and change inner wall I don't know if that changes it as well that did not change it so I don't know but maybe if you set both inner and outer wall to down a little bit so they have the same width uh, that could help a bit what I did notice though was that when I changed the settings uh, you probably cannot see it so well but this is the test print of one of these before I printed uh, so a time skip here I just got a picture so I can show you properly uh, <coughs> this is the test print you can see here you have the the openings and everything this is the test print of uh, printing before I change the settings and uh, as you can tell it looks kind of horrible this is with a 0 0.2 nozzle after I change the settings to 0 0.2 it looks like this <laughs> so yeah it does matter a lot here I also have used ironing so it looks kind of nice um, so I just wanted to show you guys that so if you have artifacts like like uh, the ones here where it sort of create gaps and stuff in the middle of the model when you slice it it could actually be the width of the line that is the problem and not actually the model itself um, so if you have this problem test it and uh, drop me a like and a comment and a subscription if you like these kind of videos and uh, see you in the next one